So I'm glad we finally got a chance to talk. I think we should see other people. No, 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 no. It's not you. It's me. It's me. You know, I feel like you've grown. I've grown. We've grown. And we're not the same people anymore. Yeah. I know. We've had some good times together. No, 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 no. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't. Don't. I want us to leave on a happy note. But I don't love you anymore. I'm sorry. And scene. <laughs> so your girl is coming to a theater near you. Where the producers at? Script writers, what's up? Your girl is available. What's up? I'm Kelsey Brianna J. Welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I am going to be talking about foundations that I have fallen out of love with. And I know this is crazy, but when you really think about it, you have moments and seasons with everything in your life and makeup is no different. A lot of these foundations are foundations that I wore for so long and I love them to death when I wore them. But today, I don't have the same love for these foundations. You know, as we grow, our needs and desires change. So sometimes you outgrow foundations. Sometimes like anything else you just didn't know any better and the foundation was never good for you in the first place okay I'm not just talking about foundations can I get an amen all right so let's go ahead and jump into it in no particular order I'm gonna share with you all the foundations that I have fallen out of love with and I will tell you why okay so the first and probably newest foundation that's gonna be on this list is the cover effects power play foundation and I know you all are like Kelsey but you just said that you liked that earlier this year and I did I really love this foundation this year but now when I try to revisit it, it's a little bit cooler outside. I feel like my skin has definitely changed. If you go back and look at my videos at the end of last year and the beginning of this year, my skin was totally different. I was really going through something with my skin and I was really rediscovering my skin. My skin changes maybe every five years. My skin was acnegenic. My skin was problematic and I was really having a hard time with that. And during that time, I tested this foundation and I liked it. I felt like it covered up the bumps on my face without settling around them. I thought it was a pretty finish but now I don't have acne as much I may have a breakout here and there but overall that's really not a concern for me right now let's keep it that way so with that being said I feel like this foundation is too dry for me I've tried so many different methods with it I will still wear it but will I repurchase it probably not I don't love it like how I thought I did this one it comes in this squeeze tube I also don't like how difficult it is to squeeze the foundation out that's a huge drawback for me because I'm all about convenience I'm all about let's go let's get it it's not gonna give me products instantly I have to work too hard for it plus I don't feel like the foundation is as flawless as my other foundations so no next I have the Becca ultimate coverage complexion cream now this was my baby the match was pretty the coverage was pretty or so I thought at the time and I used to wear this so much whenever I wanted my makeup to look super glamorous and I needed to cover a lot I would go to this foundation again like I said with the cover effects foundation my skin was on a different level than it is right now and I was wanting to cover a lot more so I would reach for heavier coverage foundations Nowadays, I feel like my skin is in a much better place, so I don't necessarily need that much coverage anymore. And when I put on this type foundation, it feels heavy. It feels like it is smothering my skin. And I know that this really didn't help my issue with the acne that I was suffering from. Those of you all who have ever suffered from a skin issue, be it acne, discoloration, or anything of the sort, then you'll know all you want to do is cover it up. It may not be the best solution, but it's a temporary fix. It's a band-aid for you to be able to go out in public and feel acceptable. And I was a person who had perfect skin before. And that was a really traumatic time for me, but it really served a purpose back then. I loved it back then. I can't see myself wearing it now, but just know I still think this foundation is pretty. The finish is pretty. The coverage is pretty, but it's just not my purpose personal taste global anymore and thankfully I don't have to use it anymore it served a purpose but I don't love it anymore next this one might be a shocking one to you all I really loved this foundation when I first tried it again keep in mind my skin was a little bit different at the beginning of the year than it is now it is the Bobbi Brown 
Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation. And I know I loved the foundation, but as my skin changes, so do my preferences. When I tried this foundation, I felt like it made my skin look harmonious. I felt like it really gave me great coverage. I was feeling it, but it felt like a gel and it was kind of tacky, but I really liked it. But when I tried to use it again a few more times when my skin started getting better, it just felt too heavy. But because it was so sticky feeling, it just didn't feel right. And I think that was the main thing. Plus the color, it was a little bit too yellow. So I think that it was making me look a little bit jaundiced. So I don't love it. I actually gave it to my sister and she really likes it. Next, this foundation. Guys, this foundation, this is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. This is my best match in foundation. Syracuse is my skin tone in a bottle. Still, to this day, no other company is going to make a color closer to my complexion than NARS Syracuse. I was obsessed. I was addicted. I wore this for at least four years. I feel like this foundation really started having an adverse effect on my skin so whenever I would take a break from it I felt like my skin cleared up a little bit and then when I went back to it I felt like my skin broke out a little bit more so I don't know if I would feel that same way today but I definitely felt that way maybe four years ago when I stopped wearing it one day I was like you know what this foundation may be the culprit of my breakouts so I stopped using it I felt like my skin got better for a little bit and then it went back to breaking out so I don't know if this was the ultimate factor of the skin breakout but I just felt like it wasn't helping with it I fell out of love with it because if you think a product is doing you bad you have got to stop using it even if you still are deeply in love with it like you have got to cut stuff off if you feel like it means you no good and that's what I felt like this foundation was doing so I have not retried it I'm actually kind of scared to retry it I kind of want to just because I know how much I loved it but I'm doing so well with my skin I don't know that I think it's worth it especially since I have so many other foundations that I love make sure you check out that video shameless plug this one is probably the only one that I still have like a foot halfway in the door like I'm kind of still checking for it I might check up on it every now and again see what's up with my sheer glow but I don't actually reach out and get it you know what I mean the next foundation that I fell out of love with is the makeup forever foundation stick I loved this foundation it was so pretty it was so full coverage it was so flawless but nowadays I just don't have the same feelings towards it it doesn't excite me it's there my color was Y405 again I gave it to my sister I think that it's not that I fell out of love with that foundation it's just I got bored with it which caused me to fall out of love with it so it's nothing that the foundation did this is a literal case of it's not you it's me and I just wanted to move on and try something else so and the last foundation that I have fallen out of love with, I feel like a lot of you all are already going to know, or you may have similar feelings yourself, and that is the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. How many of you all out there wore this foundation for years or still are wearing this foundation, and that's because it's the first one that you ever tried? This is my first liquid foundation. I loved it for a long time. I honestly used to wear this with Studio Fix Powder. This is a full coverage foundation. That's a full coverage powder. It was a lot going on. It just made me feel just sophisticated. It made me feel beat. Like I felt like a true matte girl whenever I used to wear this foundation. But since I stopped working at MAC, and even before then, I didn't love this foundation as much just because I got introduced to newer formulas, more advanced technology in formulas, and just overall better color matches. I started out in this foundation wearing NC45. You guys, I don't wear NC45 at any point in the year. NC42 is not even a perfect match for me. It's just my closest match. But if they would make an NC43 in between, that would be better for me. But since they never had that, I just always make this foundation work. And it just never really was perfect for me. You know when you try to force a situation, it can maybe work for a little while. But overall, it's not going to be permanent. So that's what it was with this foundation. It was temporary. I was in love. I was jaded. I was blinded. 
by the coverage. You know, once I woke up and I smelled the roses and I was like, Kelsey, it's other foundations that are better matches. It's other foundations that are gonna do better things for your skin. That's when I was like, okay, time to put this one down. And that day when I decided that I was no longer going to be in a committed relationship to not only this foundation, but any foundation, I've never looked back. Since then, I always keep a few on rotation. I'm not gonna limit myself to just one foundation. I need to be able to have a choice. I need to be able to choose a foundation based on my mood because my foundation selection is always a mood. I don't have to just choose one foundation and you don't either. We have options, okay? We have options. Let me know down in the comment section which foundations you have fallen totally out of love with and it is okay to understand that you outgrow makeup you outgrow certain things in your life and it's okay to want to move on and elevate so definitely try out different products just upgrade in terms of your expectations of things so if you want something to perform a certain way and it's not working that way then bye go on and keep searching until you find exactly what you're looking for and don't settle to y'all down in the comment section please make sure to subscribe that way you don't miss any videos from foundation week or any videos that i upload in the future plus make sure you check out some of my past videos it's some good content there and i will talk to y'all in my very next one smooches bye